Hi, welcome to another episode of Versus, where we watch weird shows so you don't have to. Mm. Today we have... <laughs> Versus... Yes, yeah, so today we've gone for sort of weird monster girls. Yeah, sort of, very monster that's girls. That's the sort of subject matter. So we're going to start with... Miss Kobashi's Dragon Maid. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> She's a dragon who is desperate to become a maid. For some by reason. By the looks of it, yeah. And then, but also the girl, Miss Kobayashi, she's also really interested in maids. Yes, and also has clearly a drink problem. Yeah, she's obviously got a bit of an alcoholic. She's very clearly interested in maids. It's all a bit of a strange one. When we first started watching it, I was like, nah, why have you shown yeah. me this? It, I, but, didn't, I didn't think, well, just a very quick outline. Woman gets drunk in the mountains has some sake with uh, with a uh, with a, a full grown dragon yeah. and then invites it round to come and live with her basically drunkenly and in the morning it knocks on the door while she's hungover and it's like oh remember yesterday yeah she's you like, said, you oh, said I can live with you um, it actually became quite funny. yes yeah in the first five minutes I was like Meh. no not interested in this but then it actually became quite funny obviously there was loads of those weirdly sexual moments and the whole thing just felt like it was just for a guy to go yeah I can, Ooh, I can do off. weird things like that yeah, yeah. Um, but um, I do think it actually has quite a bit of potential as well as that. Yeah, well, because they start, she said, the dragon's on it, she said she's like sexually interested in the girl, but then you, I kind of yeah. think, oh, it's going to go down that road. And then it doesn't really go down that at no. all. Um, yeah, it doesn't go down that road at all, but then she does get naked at one stage. It just seemed like a very dysfunctional relationship yeah. where she's like, strip for me. No, not like that. Yeah, like in the bar. It, like... it was really weird. It was it, Essentially, it was just them trying to make excuses for all this weird shit to go on. But Aside from that, when it, when it stopped being sexual, <laughs> when it stopped being she- sexual, and there were some really funny parts where it was just her just doing dragon shit. She cuts, she cuts off her own tail, cooks it yeah. for the woman to eat as yeah. a meal, and then she would eat. So she grows eat, it then back. she eats her own tail and then oh, just grows yeah, yeah, it yeah. back. Yeah, that was weird. Also, she hates eggs because her friend got killed by some eggs. By a yolkless egg. By a yolkless, yolkless egg. egg. And uh, she has friends that she calls them on the phone. Which <laughs> I, I'm really interested in seeing what her friends are like because uh, she calls them up for advice. Yeah, yeah, and it's just like. It just shows a phone. It's just like kill them, kill all the weak humans. Like, <laughs> we must bring Ragnarok because she's like a like a Nordic dragon. Yeah, it so seems she like there's quite had a bit all the Nordic, like the yeah. Nordic gods and like the underworld and shit. Yeah, yeah. Um, uh, but I mean, I, I kind of want to see who the guy she calls is. I want to see a friend. She called up a few people, yeah. and on the intro, it had like a few different kind of yeah, what, I think dragon, dragon. There was people. a weird dragon that With had like kind of... a weird like smoke on its head that we kept saying like an infected horn. Yeah, um, which we didn't like. Yeah, Straight away she might be go. lovely. She might be lovely, but for the moment, we're going to stay clear of her and the episodes that she is in. Yeah, and the next one is interviews with monster girls. Yeah, um, <laughs> I'm like, like obviously a bunch of demi humans. Now there's been some sort of like mixation, mixation, mixation. 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 That's anyway, they've done forced mixation. As but Joe I, calls I, it. I couldn't work out. With demi humans and normal humans, so demi humans. But was it recent? Society. It was very recent. Oh, I couldn't. I didn't catch like, that, and I was like, "Why are they asking so many like, questions?" It felt like it was so recent that people didn't even know demi humans existed up until that point. It yeah. felt weird because the guy was like, "I can't find any demi humans." He wanted to research in college or something. He was desperate to research him. Obviously, you would. I mean, like, if I yeah. like interview the vampire, some people are very interested in vampires. Well, you know well, I, mean? the, I say the plot is there's a guy who works at a school, the new biology teacher, and yeah. he wants to learn about demi-humans. But let's just do the demi-human rundown. Because yeah. oh, obviously you've got your own show. You can yeah. have any monsters you like in the world. Yeah. Let's pick these ones. Let's think about the best demi-humans. Obviously, vampire makes sense. Sort That's it. a She's in here. That makes sense. What other ones could we go for? Werewolf, maybe? Werewolf. Maybe werewolf. Swamp maybe like, guy. Like, sw- oh, I, mean, maybe some I don't sort know if they'd want any sexual Mermaids. Stuff. Mermaids. Plenty. Like a troll person. Yeah. A person that's half fox or whatever any of these things i was thinking pyro or psychic or yeah yeah, yeah. Kind of pyro yeah yeah but instead we went for uh a, a doula ham which is essentially a fucking headless horseman it's fucking so shit it's so weird where, does the, does, the where does the food she go hold, it just like a little sorry, they also the ask the question of if you touch the touch the foot touch, touch the fire will yeah. it hurt you yeah because basically the and top of the neck that. just has a flame yeah, yeah. it gets answered it's like oh it doesn't look like it will Headless Horseman's not a power. It was no. one guy who got his head cut off who got like, reanimated or something. Yeah, How is not. she born? Essentially, she's just a zombie. Also, a zombie girl would be another good one. Yeah, I want to eat you. When they were born, was this little baby head just roll out onto the floor and then, oh, here comes the body yeah. like with the flame yeah. coming out of it. It was fucking stupid. Then you had Snow Girl. <laughs> you had Snow Girl. Snow Girl... So I have less of a problem with you. You've got a bit of a problem with Snow she just, Girl. She's, like, she's like the ice queen from Frozen. Yeah, but I would rather have... Give me Weather Girl. Give me... Yeah. Like, not a Weather Girl, but like one who can do all the weathers, right? Like Storm. Yeah. But just a bit of snow. You're right. 
but it was weird. Throughout the interview with uh, with the main girl, um, the vampire, the vampire, vampire girl, yeah, yeah. Uh, Mr. K- 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 Takahashi, um, mm. Brock, but with eyes open, yeah, um, decided to like sort of. It, it felt like they were discussing sexual things. They were discussing eroticisms, and they were talking about what like her sexual preferences and why she wouldn't want to bite a boy yeah. and stuff like that well he's trying to, was... trying to find out what a vampire does but everything had the edge of sex to it which yeah. is which is dodgy everything had the edge of sex to it which was a really little bit weird and then she was like oh let me come and ch- chill out in the prep room he's just literally just got all these very very like obviously unstable un- people who haven't been in society very long yeah. headless some of them Fucking which are them. ice witches. But I, uh, and he's obviously just taking full advantage. But I would say... And just going, oh yeah, let's just... Just play. as a bit of background, we watched... The, the, the Dragon Lady one was a, a sub. Mm. And this one was a dub. And it was actually seemed that, like... It wasn't a bad dub, but I always have a bit of a question about how much they... Because t- to be fair, the Japanese one's probably more sexual. Yeah, but what exactly. I mean is, you kind of... But it, there's no there's no denying it. It had a bit of a sexual edge, which was weird. Yeah, it was very um, strange. Just don't have a girl in your dark office. I know she's a vampire, she doesn't like the sun, but just don't have a girl in your... Have, yeah, it was so um, weird. But um, obviously it was totally reciprocated, but not that makes it right. But what I mean is it was if you trapped her, she kept coming over. And obviously it's a big thing. You know, I don't know. I'm not going to discuss the morality of like Japanese anime and stuff like that. Yeah. But it did feel like... Uh, it's just a bit odd. It's just a bit odd for me as a standard yeah, white it, guy it, it, who it, it, actually yeah, doesn't yeah. care about that sort of thing. Well, to me, the most interesting character, the person I wanted to more, know more about is the Succubus, which I quite like. Oh, because, yeah, no, she was Because nice. she was, was a, a bit of a relationship going on there. Um, but her thing was she wasn't actually, she was quite embarrassed about it because obviously Succubus is like, literally she wants to sleep with men and suck their souls out, pretty much. And from yeah, what I... I don't know if she wanted to sleep with men. That's the thing, like... No, but they and, attract them. They're like a siren yeah. almost. They attract them and then kill them to get their soul. That's how Succubus yeah, works. that's it. Yeah, okay. So, but she was like trying to hide her sexualness and she, she was clearly quite a shy yeah. person so it was yeah. nice because it was a bit like the opposite mm. um, but she clearly liked the teacher man yeah. and I, that was interested in what was going to happen with that but it kept being with these younger girls where I was like fucking head girl and fucking yeah. snow girl just fuck off just, yeah and obviously they had a bit it was just very strange I, uh, but obviously, you were saying, oh, because vampires, she's probably like hundreds and hundreds of years old. Well, I feel like that's what they'd but say in the fanfic. Away, but then or something like, like, if you meet the twin that's not a demi human, she's exactly yeah, the same. How did age. that work? Oh, exactly oh I didn't think age. of that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So there is some sort of strange sexualness going on with that. Yeah, it was, it was, it was a bit uncomfortable. It had, I like the idea of just monsters and mm. a bit, just anything like a mix of monsters, but I feel like they picked very rubbish. They picked just shit. fucking headless. Just. You werewolf. I'm sorry. Werewolf, zombie. Just click, stick the classics. You've already gone for vampire. Go for a dragon person if you really want or to. Or just maybe vaguely Japanese style. Yeah, like, just have one of those people have the big mouths open. Yes. Yeah. And yeah. what's yeah. the ones with the necks that like grow really long? Any. Have a fucking Kappa in there. Yeah. Have a That'd fucking, scary, like have a fucking Tomodachi too, just in there. Yeah, yeah. Just balls out, flapping against the wind. Tanuki, not a Tomodachi. Tanuki, yeah, Tomodachi. Tomodachi's friend. No, Tom- uh, yeah, Tomodachi. Oh, that's his friend. Yeah, okay, sorry. Tanuki, you're thinking about. Tanuki, yeah, I'm thinking of two Tanuki. But also, um, a, a demi human only girls. That's one question that I've got for you, because there were no boys in that school, obviously. It's seg- segregated. Yeah. yeah it's a lot of segregation going on, but not with de- demi humans and non humans. Yeah, just with it was. I kind of wanted all the ages to be bumped up, let's be honest. Yeah, and just, but. It, I suppose it's just, it's just Japanese. And to be fair, they were probably all 25 in the actual, like, mm. if, if I probably look at the Wikipedia, they were probably maybe the high schoolers or something. But you never bloody know, do you? You never know. This is why we have to watch these things for you guys, so you don't have to uncomfortably yeah. sit. So you don't have to uncomfortably watch sit. Watch a, a kid. It wasn't, I mean, we're saying this, but it wasn't half as uncomfortable as uh, Strike Witches. Oh, no, no. That, that was thing, blatant. That was blatantly yeah, yeah, ridiculous. Yeah. This had, like, a That wasn't edge, subtext. That was just, this, it's yeah. here right now in your face. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, Enjoy the pussy. Yeah, right. Just, <laughs> um, awkward. I definitely think fucking Mrs. Kobashi's Dragon Ball. I'd happily watch that right now. I would now. watch that again, yeah. yeah. Cause the thing is, each time, it just felt like it was like, oh, what shit she didn't get into this week. So in this episode of Versus, <laughs> the winner is... Uh, Miss Kobayashi's Dragon Maid. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. Bye-bye. Goodbye. <laughs> Utagashiki wa korose, noroi o kome de korose, matsudai made fukou ni shita. Tankou ni naru naa!